Greetings, Cares Beers. Tool Tips with Tommy here. And I just got a new tool right here. Yeah. So I'm getting back to tools. Of course, I still do my Kia Stinger. But I won't do an update on that for about a, I don't know, a month. Because i got body work to do. And body work is a pain in my butt. So, so you won't see a video on that for a while. But this is what you're going to see a video on. So let's see here. Oh, let's see if we can open this thing up. Um, so this is another uh, South Korean purchase. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to put this down. All right, I'm back. And I cracked it open because it was getting... I couldn't do it with one hand. So I, <laughs> I did it. I just, I just cut it open through all this and then I got this too I don't know what this is but we'll see here oh okay so this is this is the paperwork that came with it so it didn't come in a box it just came with this crap and a uh, wow that's dang look at this Bosch, this is what you get when you uh, order from, well, let me zoom back, uh, zoom back, zoom back, you F, there we go. So when you order from South Korea, this is what you get. <laughs> this is the instruction manual that you get. Pretty crazy. <laughs> I've never seen this before in any of my Bosch tools. Uh, so yeah, that came in it. And then your standard uh, junk. Dang, there's more paperwork in this than anything I've ever seen from Bosch. A whole nother big old booklet. It's a god dang uh, impact driver. It doesn't need all of this. Okay. And then your typical belt clip. And uh, well, I'll probably use that. I like my belt clips. Uh, this is to prove that I did, in fact, get it from South Korea. If you can read Korean, I cannot. So I hope that's Korean. If you are Korean, tell me. Uh, it came with this thing. So this is what I got. The GDR18V220C. I'm sure when it comes to North America, it will be the gdr 18 v dash 1990 or something like that because i i did the uh conversion to 20 newton meters is about 1990 inch pounds so i think when it comes to north america it'll be the gdr 18 v 1990 or something like that although i haven't seen it here in north america um yeah i only saw it i saw a video of it being released in the uk and then i did a search on google and it came up in uh south korea and so I, uh, I ordered it from eBay on, from South Korea for like 160 bucks, or 155 with, with tax and everything. It was like 168 bucks. So, yeah. Um, but I can tell you that it has three speeds: zero to 800, zero to 2300, and zero to 3400. It has A mode and B mode, and I think this is all. Um, this is default, but you can probably change these if you connect it because it is a connectable tool. So you can put the Bluetooth module in it and then uh, probably alter some of these, but um, I haven't gotten there yet, so I don't know. Um, a, slow, auto slow down, and B, auto shut off. So I guess if you don't want to break the bolts off, you would use auto shut off, B. And if you don't want to drive the nail too far or your screw too far down, your fastener too far down, you do auto slow down, I suppose. And then here it just shows you speed. Um, I, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm a hands-on guy, not a visual guy. My love language is hands-on, not visual. Uh, and then what do we got over here on this side? What do we have here? Uh, it's upside down. It's not upside down. I just so this is your connected Bluetooth. You need a GCY42 to put in there for to connect it, and then you hook it up to Bluetooth. Oh uh, yeah, and then okay. So this is I guess 
you would use your self tap screws or for auto shut off, auto slow down. Uh, your drywall screws you can use auto shut off or auto slow down. And your nuts and bolts, I don't know. Maybe these are more settings you can do in the Bluetooth connectivity. You can do ABR, auto slow down, and auto shut off. Maybe ABR is a new one, I don't know. Uh, and then you got your speed selections. LED, it does have two LED lights. It's got some cool features I'll show you in just a minute. But um, yeah, so that's the, what comes with it. Uh, so we're gonna file all of that. Comes with your little bit holder thing on the side. And yeah, so now you know as much as I know about it. I am going to do a test. I'm gonna drive these 3 8 by six, or 3 8 by eight, uh, I don't know what kind of fasteners these are. These are some kind of timber locks or something like that. I'm going to drive these into this uh, 4x8 uh, as a test. We're going to see, and I'll, what I'll do is I'm going to do it side by side. So these are the two I'm going to test, the 1860. Let me see, make sure I'm not too zoomed in. Yeah, so I'm going to use my old uh, GDX 18V 1860. So, of course, 1860 means... 1,860 inch pounds, and it is, uh, come on baby, come on battery. It should be fully charged. I just checked it a little bit ago. Yeah, fully charged. I don't know why it wasn't doing it on the tool. There you go, fully charged. And then the new one, the new bad guy, fully charged. So we got fully charged batteries. I will say if you look much, much smaller um, even if you took the uh, the little freak or the two-in-one attachment off the top it's got a much smaller body much more compact tool more power still has the little HMI the human machine interface on there but um, yeah so this is the one I just got today and so one of the things I wanted to show off that they Bosch finally did you know Bosch always claims they're so innovative and um, you know, so many great engineers and designers and everything. So, um, just toolless blade change or toolless bit change or whatever. You just put it, you do have to pull the collar up and it doesn't lock in the open position. So you do have to pull it up to take the bit out, but to put it in, you just line it up, click it in and it's in. So we're going to put them in. That's low. Medium, high, so we're going to do it in high on A. It does have two lights. It has one down here and one up here. So you got dual lightage, which is kind of, I don't know, I don't think I've seen it. I've seen one with three lights around the ring here. I've seen them, many of them have a light down here. Some of them have lights up here, but this guy has dual lightage, and it doesn't have a light button down here. But I'm sure you can adjust how long the lights are on and stuff like that in the settings once again. So, But yeah, same good ergonomics as the other one. I think the, let me see, they both feel good in the hand. Flossy. Yeah, ooh, good in the hand. They both sound good. Both brushless. Much smaller back end. Like I said, it's, it's a good inch and a half shorter and much smaller body so all right let me um set it up for a little uh, drill thing i need to put some t40s in here and uh yeah i'll just do a quick video driving these screws and we'll see how it does you know i don't know never been never been used so we're going to use it for the first time here in just a bit talk to you in a bit okay so i have no idea how this is going to work but uh, i did start both of them they're both about maybe three eighths of an inch in. And uh, I'm just gonna, yeah. I don't really do a whole lot of these. I do, I've done some, so we'll give it a go. I'm not ambidextrous, I'm kind of ambidextrous, but not really. So, uh, okay, they're both going, screwing in. Hope I don't kill myself. Here we go. Alright, 
so this is on three. Let's do, let's change the mode because that was, it should have been going way faster than that, I would have thought. Let's put it on the other mode, B. Nope. So that's auto stop. So I guess A is where we want to be, but that's auto slow down. So I'm kind of disappointed. This is uh, supposed to have more power, and clearly the 1860 has outdone it. So I don't know why. I'm going to have to follow up on that and see why that is, but the old model kicked its butt. So I'm going to follow up with that, and we'll try it again maybe. Okay, so I'm back, and I did realize that the new impactor that I bought that guy, the 220C, I guess, well, it had the Bluetooth module in it already, so it was already ready to be connected. I just had to put the battery uh, thing, um, you know, pull the battery thing out so the battery made contact, and I hooked it up to my tools, and then I did, so it comes with self-drilling metal, wood screw, and bolt, but when it's in wood screw, it does the auto shut off or the auto slow down. And so what I did was I made a custom setting, and it's only going to auto slow down when it's untightening, but tightening, there's going to be no reaction. So it's going to give me full bore on tightening. So we're going to try this again. Now that I have it set for, uh, yeah, now that I have it set to go uh, full bore, it's going to go all out. Uh, it's going to be loud, but we're going to give this a try now again. I'm going to use the same two screws in two different holes, so let me get them set up. And we'll give it a try. Okay. All right, so they're both the same now. Let's see. Three. Full speed, and I think I didn't change the A and B on that. Full speed three on that, and it should be the Tom mode. So let's see how this works this time. Whoops, I gotta go forward. I gotta go forward, I didn't. Okay, so let's catch up. <laughs> oh geez. So as I thought, this one does have more power, and it did win. It did go faster. So uh, there you go, I guess. Um, you know, I'm not really good with my left hand doing screws. I do screws with my right hand normally. I use drills with my right hand. So, um, but that's no excuse. I just, I, you know, whatever. Anyway, there you go. So they're both loud. Um, you can tell they're much it's much smaller, it's faster, it's more powerful, and my new favorite impact driver. So that is all for now, and um, I guess maybe I'll do some more uh, power tools coming up. We'll see. I do have some new tools, so I'll figure out what video I'm going to do next. Late.